This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Thursday, March 18th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. And I just clicked the wrong thing on my screen. We'll, we'll take that in post-production or not. Anyway, we're talking about the covenant of right relations. We have been the last week and a half, um, and we'll, we'll continue through the end of this week to talk about it. The Covenant of Right Relations was written in May of 2017. It was right before I was called by the congregation, so I actually didn't participate in putting it together. And in some ways it reflects the congregation that existed in 2017. And this was shortly after a pretty conflicted ministry um, by the Reverend Justin Osterman. He did not behave well while he was in Lincoln. And that created a lot of congregational conflict at the time that this was drafted and written. And so the draft reflects that. The covenant reflects that. Covenants are, are documents of the time they were written. And learning some lessons about how to manage conflict well is a thing that comes out of a specific moment in a congregation's life, but it is also vitally important on an ongoing basis for the congregation. So the piece of the covenant that we're talking about today is equanimity. This is what the, the covenant says. The graceful, generous handling of conflict and challenge may be one of the hardest tasks of relationships, whether within or outside the confines of the church community. Yet it is essential to maintain trust, maintain trust and shared forward momentum. So we strive to begin our interactions with an assumption of best intentions offer positive reinforcement and kudos to board, staff, volunteers, and minister. Provide direct, authentic, open-minded, constructive, and respectful input. Embrace and navigate conflict ami amiably, compassionately, and without passive aggression. Attempt to resolve one-on-one -on -one concerns member to member when possible before consulting others. Participate in and advocate financial support for skill building related to conflict management for board members and church leaders alike, then support and utilize congregational methods for moderating disagreements between partners in conflict, between parties in conflict. Covenants are aspirational documents. And there is nothing more aspirational than saying we will always handle conflicts in churches in an authentic, open-minded, respectful, and constructive way. <laughs> Churches are hard. It's hard to be in community with each other. It's hard to be in conflict within that community and handle it in ways that are healthy. But like we talked about when we talked about accountability, it's, it's important because it's hard. It's important because if we can't figure out how to be in conflict in healthy ways here at the church, where we have this shared understanding of mutual respect and care, worth and dignity, then how do we do it elsewhere? This is where we practice. And we practice hard things to get better at them. It is a glorious thing to say that we will embrace and navigate conflict compassionately and without passive aggression. A lot of the time we do that well. When we don't, I hope we can say that and say, let's just pause a second. That commitment that we made to each other, that, that covenant that we say we are a part of as members of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, what does it ask us to do in this moment we're in conflict with each other? If we can do that, then we're a long ways to living up to this covenant. And we do that a lot. See you tomorrow.